Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is February 24th, and right now we're looking at the infrared slash visible satellite imagery. You can see our cutoff low right off the coastline here, getting exposed by the sunrise as it comes across the Pacific Ocean this morning. Check out the state of California, just some high clouds right now, and you can see the frontal system driving down across Pacific Northwest. It's going to help kick this cutoff low through here, but it's not packing much of a punch with it. However, as we go through the end of the next week, looks like we have a pretty big pattern change rolling in here to much of the West Coast. And We'll be diving into those details as we go through the video here this morning. High risk of sneaker waves. Beachgoers can be swept into the ocean. People get caught off guard by these every single year. These huge heavy logs in there are hard to see and they can pin you down or you can get swept out by these waves. And sometimes these waves will run up well beyond the normal wave height and it can be sunny and nice looking out there. So don't turn your back on the ocean. Now, taking a look at the precipitation late Monday through Tuesday, mainly light amounts, especially across Southern California here. We're not talking about much this cutoff low swinging through, but it could bring a few inches of some mountain snow with it. And looking at the future, I want to point this out Wednesday through Thursday. Reno National Weather Service is starting to talk about that next potent system here as we go off into the extended forecast. And this is talking about that front moving out of the Pacific Northwest. It will be clipping some areas and bringing up some high winds with it as well across some of the higher terrain. And I don't see an advisories or warnings out for that. So I wanted to mention it and show you here on the 80 meter wind speed with the North American model. Light winds here as we go through the day today and virtually for many places tomorrow. But you can see by the time we get towards Sunday night and Monday morning across the higher uh, terrain of the Sierra Nevada, you know, the weather's going to be quite nice out there. And I just want to kind of let everybody know off in the backcountry that the winds are going to be picking up. In fact, all the way down across some of the peninsula ranges as well. And look at the winds really start to get roaring here as we go on into the day Monday as that strong frontal system will be driving down across the Pacific Northwest. And then you can see on the day Monday, that cutoff low starts to make its way in here as well and tries to spread a bit of precipitation with it also. Now, looking at National Blend of Models, this is today. You can see some nice temperatures out there. Look at 70 up all the way up towards Redding here and some of the valley areas and some 80s to be had off in the desert. But if we look off into the future here, you'll see some of these temperatures starting to fall off as we go through Monday. We start to bring that system through here and we get that frontal system kind of swinging off to our north and east. And then we bounce back here a bit Wednesday and then we start the big pattern change here as we go through the end of the week. And look at some of these temperatures really falling off here as by the time we go on towards next Sunday, March 3rd here as we have a potential very cold air mass driving down across the region. Some big mountain snows have been showing up in some of the model runs. I'll show you that here in a moment. And if you want a nice affordable home weather station to record all this crazy weather we get here across much of the Southwest, click on that link down below to save 10% off. It's got a lightning detection system with it. it. Stores all the data for you in the cloud. Now looking at the European, and this is at 18,000 feet, 500 millibars, the ensemble mean here. So there's the cutoff low. You can clearly see it. It's bouncing around out there. And then it gets a little kick from that trough swinging down out of the north here across the region. Then we look off into the extended and clearly see all this cold air spilling out over the Gulf of Alaska. It's going to drive most likely a powerful frontal system down much of the state. This has potential for huge mountain snow and a much cooler air mass rolling into the region. Now, if we take a look here at the GFS, this one is hot off the presses. 700 millibars is about 10,000 feet. This is just pure temperature aloft. There's our cutoff low. There's the Hawaii Islands at the bottom left. There's California. Let's put this into motion. And you can see it spinning out there and it modifies basically and kind of swings through here with its weak precipitation amounts. And, you know, hopefully some of that cold air makes its way down in here as that trough moves by and brings some nice mountain snows. But what we're looking at here is that extended forecast and look at this bulk of cold air just really pushed down much of the West Coast here. That would be an impressive storm and a big time mountain snowmaker here. Cross your fingers for that one. If you like mountain snow, that would be very beneficial to the Sierra Nevada. Now, if we take a look here at the GFS, this is what it would look like here. There goes our cutoff low. It starts to spread some precip back up over the state here as we go through the day Monday. Some mountain snowfall does occur here in Northern California, the Sierra Nevada, and across some portions of Nevada. Not a bad cold front here for places like Utah, Colorado, Wyoming. It's this very cold air mass ushers down into the area. But then we turn our eyes to that cold air spilling out over the Gulf of Alaska. And look at this frontal system just kind of slow moving, drapes itself across much of the state of California. It would usher in a very cold air mass and some impressive mountain snows with it as well. Look at that, man. That is a fantasy forecast, but it is starting to look nice here. And we got some pretty good model agreement on this also. And I'll show you that by comparing it to yesterday afternoon's GFS. So there is that cutoff low. It starts to spread that precip at some point on the day Monday. A bit of mountain snow, as you can see, as that cold air moves off to the east. And then that strong frontal system, really nice model agreement there with the GFS on the European model here. So got a bit of confidence there to that pattern change coming up at the end of next week week.
Now let's take a look here. Total precipitation and interest on the National Blend of Models. This one is hot off the press. As you see, this thing is kind of punchless here. It's bringing a little bit of light precip with it, and but mainly here for the Sierra Nevada. Hopefully, it can bring a nice little round of snow, but we're not talking about a lot, especially compared to what we have been getting this month. But then we bring that pattern change, and you can kind of see the precipitation amounts. You know, not bad for some of the central coast up towards Northern California and the Sierra Nevada, which most of that would be falling as snow. The snow levels would be quite low with this system. It would be different from the systems we've been getting so far. And you can see we're not getting a lot of precipitation here down across Southern California. So it is going to be a bit of a break, at least compared to prior storms. Now, looking at total snow in inches, we're just kind of running through this to play a little bit of fantasy forecast. But this one isn't fantasy here. We're going to get some nice snowfall across some of the higher terrain as we go on in through Monday, on in through Tuesday morning. Then that wraps up and we wait for that pattern change and just some ridiculous snowfall amounts starting to show up for the higher terrain here across much of the state, including Nevada and Oregon up there as well. So, yeah, it's going to be a crazy time and the snow levels would be lower with this system as well. We'll be d going over those details as we get closer to it. Check out Truckee Tahoe, kind of a fantasy forecast, looking at the huge amounts of snowfall out there. If we look at Susanville as well, you can kind of see it, Mount Shasta. I want you to take these with a grain of salt and not get too caught up in these totals just yet. And there's Big Bear, so we have the potential for some big snow, but it's still a ways out. It's almost a full week out, so we don't want to get too caught up in that just yet. Also, some lower than normal temperatures showing up. You can see the average temperature for Bakersfield this time of year here as we go through early March, and you know, the temperature is progged to be below normal. You can see Fresno, same thing there, LAX. We're looking at San Francisco. You guys get the gist here with the pattern change rolling on in here. Uh, this is all the way up towards Eureka as well. Quite a bit below average here. Start to get into the 50s, but the temperatures, some of them are showing up only in the lower 40s, right around 40 degrees by the time we get towards next weekend. So let's look at the webcams here. It is definitely a good time to be trying to go back and forth across the Sierra Nevada. It looks like Barron Drive for pretty much everywhere, and you can see 395 Conway Summit, Summer Junction, Crestview out there. Nice bare and dry roadways. So, you know, do, do it now because there is some snowfall coming here as we go through the day Monday into Tuesday morning for some of those areas and we get another break before the big pattern change. Now, if we look here, six to 10 day precipitation outlook, this goes all the way through March 4th, 4th as you can see, above average from much of the West, six to 10 day below average all the way through March 4th and here the eight to 14 day. Look at this, virtually the entire lower 48 is included in the above average signal and you can see the eight to 14 day temperature outlook isn't taking into account, no doubt that big trough digging down the West Coast. And you can see snow water equivalent not doing too bad. And we could go, you know, a bit above normal here with that next uh, pattern change if it does arrive because we're not doing too bad right now. So that would be really beneficial, especially for some of the lower elevations, you know, below 6,000 feet, which has kind of been left out a bit as we've gone through this winter here. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's what we're looking at. We'll be watching that pattern change day by day. We'll break this down once more tomorrow again as this low pressure system finally swings through the state. Doesn't look like it has much of a punch. It's really been drying out here in past model runs. But anyway, we'll continue to watch things day by day. Hope you guys are liking the channel. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.